What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance, and I wanted to make this video this morning. And I know that it's April Fools, but this is not an April Fools joke. Um, this is something very real. Um, this is not a joke, as I said. This is, you know, very legit, very real. Um, this is something I looked into. Um, now, my retirement, before I get into it, I just want to be clear that my retirement from Music for Good has nothing to do with the stuff going on with my ex or any of that. Rather, it's a bit more on the financial side of things. Um, and as soon as I invite everybody into here, I will go into detail about what is actually going down. And I know a lot of people aren't going to be happy with it, but I think, you know, once I explain what's going on, then I, you know, I think you guys will get where I'm coming from. And I know, like, a lot of people are not going to be happy with it. But as I said, it is what it is. And, you know, take it as is, as you want. But this is permanent. I will not be coming back from this one. Um... But for those of you, you know, wondering what's going on, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to all my fans that have supported me since 2010 when I first started this incredible, incredible journey as a musician, as a music producer. You know, I've had the honor to work with some very amazing people in my time. You know, as a music artist, I have had the opportunity to work with guys like Julian Solano from Nightcore, um, talented artists like Cryptic Wisdom. Um, you know, I've gotten to work with many people that I looked up to musically, and I'm very grateful for that. But my time as a music artist has come to an end. And as I said, it has nothing to do with my ex or anything going on like that. It has to do everything, though, with, you know, financial issues. You see, I started up, you know, music, you know, I started up selling, you know, a custom clothing line on rageon.com, which you can find at rageon.com slash DK Customs. I started that brand initially because I'm a racing fan. And, you know, I've, you know, always been a fan of doing stuff like that. Always. But, uh, you know, it eventually stemmed from being just a racing fan you know, brand clothing company to a full-on plethora of various things, whether they be, you know, band-related, whether they be, you know, wrestling-related, you know, WWE, all of that stuff. Like, I branched out into something huge. And I had gained a lot of, you know, ground over the years from them. And then... Over time, I found out about Amuse, which is a digital distribution company where I could distribute my music. So I went through them for a while. I actually went through them last year. From June up until December of last year, I went through them. I was very pleased with them at first because, you know, I was getting my music out there. But just randomly, I did the math this morning. And between one of my friends buying the t-shirts that I bought from my custom clothing shop and my friend that bought my shoes 
from that same site. Um, I'm not gonna, let me read them all to you. The shirts that my friend bought were the You'll Float 2, which is a, um, a Pennywise t-shirt on RageOn.com for $29. And then another shirt that says, I really don't have time for your shit, which has a skeleton holding up the middle finger for the same price for $29. Okay, those two shirts right there. And then my one friend, Sam, in the UK, who's a very dear friend to me and a very big supporter to me, uh, purchased my flame art shoes, which says fire on them, like as the title. For a hundred dollars, right? Those three items that's you know, that's over a hundred dollars right there. Now, you go over to here, you go over to Google Play and you look up my former name, Shadowblade, and you look up my albums, Blackout and Evolution, correct. Blackout, $9.49, which I sold roughly about anywhere between two to eight digital copies of that album. And the same thing with Evolution, which Evolution has a little bit less than Blackout. And that currently is $6.93. That's on Google Play, that's on Amazon, that's all your digital platforms. And I did the math between both sites and currently both companies owe me in total between the two companies, I am currently owed $149.42. And you gotta figure that's a lot of money for to someone like me, a hundred and forty nine dollars and forty two cents. That's a lot of money. Like that's money that I can actually use to build upon stuff to build myself up. So seeing as the circumstances are, and I'm not going to get any of that money. Um, I actually am leaving the music industry behind because I am tired of being financially screwed. I have been fighting this and fighting this and fighting this for a long time, but honestly, I cannot do it anymore. I cannot sit down and be in in, in, in an industry where I am constantly being screwed over by companies and other people. So, what I'm going to do is instead of continuing my career as a musician and as a music artist, I actually am going to be picking back up on something I started a long time ago, which is writing and creating manga. Now you guys probably think, well, how are you gonna get published? I actually have a very big fan of my music who I actually got the honor to sit down and hang out with and play games on Xbox with last night and got to hang out with here on Facebook. And I got to talk to him, he's a really cool kid. His name's Grant, he's a very cool kid. So shout out to Grant, also known as Kool-Aid Man on YouTube. Shout out to you, Grant, what's good, man? How you doing, buddy? But Grant actually knows somebody that is a publisher that would be willing to help me to publish my manga and my writings. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be diving full time into, you know, creating manga to sell, to get published. That way, you know, I can start making legitimate money from that. Because I've always had a knack for writing. I've always had a talent for creating. And I figured, why not take that skill serious? Why not take it seriously? 
and you know do something with it so for me the next logical step after leaving the music industry is to go into the one thing i know i'm good at that i can actually get somewhere with which is becoming a manga creator slash writer now i know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be pissed off that i'm leaving because i know a lot of you guys support my music and i appreciate that i really do i appreciate that 110 percent like you guys being fans of my work means the world to me it really does but i cannot be in an industry where i am constantly getting screwed over and cheated out of my money and out of opportunities i know and that's why i didn't really do anything the last few days because I didn't know what was going to happen. I wanted to think about it, you know, go over it in my head, double check everything. And honestly, stepping away from the music industry and stepping into the career of a writer and manga creator is logically the next best step for me. And, you know, it's something I enjoy doing, and there's no pressure in it. I have no pressure in writing. I can literally take my time with everything that I do. I mean, yeah, I had creative, you know, leeway and everything in music. I was able to do it whenever I wanted, but this way I can be more creative, and I can actually you know, depict the stories that I'm trying to tell. Instead of sitting there putting it in and into like a three to four minute song, I can actually show you guys. But I do thank you all for being, you know, fans of my work. You guys are truly amazing. And you know, you guys are truly the best. You know, fans that anyone can ever ask for. And I do thank you guys. I do thank every single one of you for the support that you guys have shown me this entire journey. But as I said, I cannot allow myself to be in an industry where I am being screwed over out of my money and screwed over out of opportunities. I cannot allow that to happen to myself. And I will not allow it to happen. Now, will I ever see the money that I am owed? It's doubtful, but I don't know. But at this point in time, I have no other option but to step away from the music industry and to pursue this journey as a writer. You know, and I do hope that you guys, you know, will follow me on this journey. I hope that you guys that have been fans of my music will, you know, become fans of my writing and my manga. Because as you guys know, I grew up a very big anime fan. I grew up, you know, writing. Uh, my grandmother, my great grandmother actually was a writer herself. She actually wrote and self-published a book which didn't go very you know viral but for those that it did go out to you know they really enjoyed it and she also did all the artwork in it myself or herself my bad but you know this is the next logical step for me is to carry on in my great grandmother's footsteps and you know create you know books and content that you guys will enjoy. Peace. Call from one four one. Oh my guys. Hello. Hello. Sorry about that, guys. But uh. And you guys don't know what's going on. I was actually saying peace to a friend of mine in the chat. 
But, you know, I just want to say thank you guys for all your love and support that you guys have shown me over the years. You know, you guys have, you know, been amazing and awesome to me. And as I said, I hope you guys continue to follow me on this journey to the next step in my life and this next chapter, which I know is going to be a great one. So with that being said, thank you guys so much. And, you know, I look forward to you guys checking out my stuff as soon as it starts to come out. But with that being said, I'm going to sit down, hop on Twitch. If you guys don't know what Twitch is, it's actually a digital live streaming platform where I'll be live streaming literally daily, every day. Um, doing gameplay of different games and stuff for you guys. Um, I may even hop on with some fans and stuff, have a little fun. But uh, with that being said, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And I do hope that you guys are having a good, you know, rest of the day. I hope you guys are having a good morning or good evening, wherever you guys are at. And I will see you guys later, man. And for those of you that follow me on Twitch, I will see you guys over there in just a little bit, man. Peace.